Good morning. It is good to see you today. Hope you're doing well. I want to talk today about how the Lord's Church is different than pretty much everybody else out there today in the religious world. What we actually believe is that a man actually has to hear the truth. That a man actually has to hear the Word of God. Now, that, it sounds strange that not everybody believes that, but that is indeed the case. Uh, that not everybody does believe that, but we do. We believe what the Scripture teaches. We believe what Romans chapter 10 at verse 17 teaches. That faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. That is how faith comes. A lot of folks have the idea that faith is this miraculous zapping that happens at some point in your life, and God, against your will, instills faith in you. That is not what Scripture says. Scripture says faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. The miraculous did in fact happen, namely the Holy Spirit revealed the deep things of God. Now it is up to us to hear it, and we actually believe that a man does have to hear it. We believe that a man, you might think about what James says. A lot of folks say, well, you just need to pray about it, and we should pray about it. We should do what James says. In James chapter 1, at verse 5, as it talks about wisdom, it says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach. Absolutely. We need to pray about it. But we cannot disconnect James 1, 5 from later on in the chapter at verse 21 where it says, Lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word. We actually have to receive with meekness the word of God. Why are we called to do that if God, against our will, can instill faith in us? Well, it doesn't make any sense. What does make sense, though, is exactly what we've been talking about. We are called to hear the truth. We are called to receive with meekness the implanted word. We are called to do what the Bereans did. In Acts chapter 17, at verse 11, it says that they were more noble-minded in that they searched the scriptures daily to find out whether those things were so. We actually have to search the scriptures. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, at verse 15, it says, Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's where the King James uses the phrase, Study to show thyself approved. We believe you actually have to do that. In Ephesians, in Ephesians at chapter 5, at verse 4, pardon me, Ephesians verse 3, at verse 4, Paul, in speaking to them, says that he was writing, and that, as he says, by which when you read, you may understand my knowledge and the mystery of Christ. We believe a man actually has to read. We believe we actually have to receive with meekness the implanted word. We believe we actually have to listen to the Lord. We are laying the bedrock for faith and everything that comes from faith, as faith manifests itself. But we believe a man actually has to hear the truth. Like I said, it seems odd to say that not everybody believes that, but that is indeed the case. You might think about all of Protestantism and all those who follow suit as they baptize infants. And they think that those infants, that they have faith without hearing the truth. Now, of course, it's because they have the erroneous doctrine of original sin. But they believe that a man doesn't really have to hear the truth. You might think about that. We believe that a man does. We also believe that children are born innocent, but that's for another lesson. Hope you enjoyed this one. God bless you. We'll see you Monday morning.